Hey, what's up everybody? It's Drew Bitter, known as Rock Chalk Zero One, and today this is part four of me ranking every single Disney film from worst to best based on a tier list. This time we're gonna be going over B tier, and it has 13 films. So without further ado, let's get into it. Coming in last place of B tier is Raya and the Lost Dragon. This film is actually pretty good. I mean, it has a little bit of new bias to it, but I mean, it wasn't that bad. I love the characters. The plot was really, really good. The only thing that really didn't tickle my funny bone was the score. It just seemed to fall flat for me. But other than that, this is a really good and decent film. In 12th place, Alice in Wonderland. Now this is an acid trip. I'm just gonna say it now. Now, if somebody was on like marijuana, they would say this is the number one film, but I'm not. Alice in Wonderland is a great story. I love the actual legit story. Um, the characters in this was really good. I love some of the songs in this, but it's just that acid trip just made me feel a little bit uncomfortable. So that's why it's here in 12th place. Just missing out of the top 10 in 11th place, Pocahontas. Now this film has only one setback and that's the reason why it's still this low in B tier. It's because of the racial stereotyping of Native Americans. I don't like it one bit. Other than that, the story's good, the characters were great, the songs and the score were awesome. Colors of the Wind and Savages are one of Disney's greatest songs ever written, in my opinion, but if it wasn't for the stereotyping of Native Americans, this would have been a lot higher. Starting the top 10 in 10th place, Bolt. This has an, a great original story, I love it. The score wasn't that great, that's kind of what set this film back, but it was the story and the characters really. I love Bolt, Penny, uh, Mittens, they are great characters, so that's why it just cracks the top 10. In ninth place, The Emperor's New Groove, one of Disney's most underrated films of all time, because the critics bashed this film, but the audience loved it, and I am one of them. Yzma, Poncha, Kronk, and Cusco, one of the four greatest character developments in the Disney canon. The score was pretty meh, but the story and character developments were just great, and it, this film could have been a lot higher if it had a better score, but hey, it's here in B tier. In eighth place, 101 Dalmatians. This one is actually not that bad. I thought it'd be a little bit lower, but I seem to like this film. I loved Cruella de Vil. She's probably one of the top five villains of Disney's history, in my opinion. Maybe villain's history. This had a decent story, good character development, and a pretty decent score. So that's why it's here in eighth place. In seventh place, Peter Pan. I know I'm gonna get a little bit of hate for this, because there's some people that love this film and it's their favorites. Not me. Peter Pan's a good film. I love Peter Pan as a character. Another great character development. Wendy is another good one. Captain Hook, also a top five Disney villain in my opinion. You Can Fly is a good song. Follow the Leader is another good song. This has everything. But the story was just a little bit under the radar for me. So that's why it's here in seventh place of B tier. In sixth place, Hercules. This one has an amazing score. Go the distance, zero to hero. Oh my gosh, this is one of the best scores. But the story fell a little bit flat as well. But it's better than Peter Pan's story. The characters in this film, Hades is another good villain, but I would put him in the top 10. Because, eh, he's just not that much as Cruella and Captain Hook. But it's not bad. So that's why uh, Hercules is here in sixth place. Starting the top five in fifth place, Tangled. This film is not that bad. It has a pretty decent score, has a good story, has good character developments. Uh, Rapunzel and Flynn carry this movie on their shoulders because if they weren't that good of a character development, this film would have tanked. Now I know why a lot of people really like this film. I've Dreamed a Dream is a great song too. So yeah, that's why it's here in the top five of B tier. In fourth place of B tier, Lady and the Tramp. Now this one could get a little bit controversial here, but it just has nostalgia for me. It was a solid like A tier movie, but then a couple rewatches later I was like, eh, it's not really that 
big of an A-tier film. Lady and the Tramp has great songs, has a good score, has uh, great characters, has a really good Disney original story. Because this was Disney's first original story. It wasn't based off a book or anything. So props to them. And that's why it's in fourth place of B-tier. In third place, Sleeping Beauty. Maleficent carried this film. I'm saying it now because Maleficent is Disney's greatest villain. And there's no question. Maleficent and Aurora, their character developments were amazing. The story was good. The score was pretty good. Uh, Once Upon a Dream is a classic song. And yeah, there's no re this could have been A tier, but it settled for top three of B tier. In second place, Tarzan. Yeah, this score really saved this film because Phil Collins is a genius when it comes to scores. Strangers Like Me, Son of Man, Two Worlds, You'll Be In My Heart. Four good songs on this soundtrack saved it. The story was a little underrated. The characters of Tarzan and Jane were solid, but yeah, the score really saved this film, so that's why it's here in second place. But the king, or should I say queen of B tier in first place, The Princess and the Frog. This film was this close to being A tier, but if it wasn't for me being a little nitpicky, it ended up here in B tier. But Tiana's story is amazing. I love it. The characters were great. The score was, ah, <laughs> and it was just amazing. I loved it. But if it wasn't for me being a little nitpicky, this would have been an A tier. But congratulations to Princess and the Frog. You're the winner of B tier. And that is going to do it for my rankings of B tier. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Also leave a like, share, and subscribe and push that notification bell. Next time we're going to be going over A tier. So until then, have a good day. Never ever bring exotic dancers to the field house. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.